Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. So currently we're looking at the 15 minute chart of the Australian dollar American dollar. We decided to approach this Forex pair because we are now seeing a strong resistance level on this chart that unites the last three or four tops. So now we're placing this resistance level at 0 0.7675. So we have the first top over here, second, third, fourth, and so on. At the same time, the bottoms of the price action are ascending, which means that the bottoms are increasing. For this reason, we're going to use this yellow bullish line over here to connect the last three bottoms on the chart. It appears that the price action is consolidating and it is probably forming an ascending triangle where the bottoms of the pattern are increasing. Since the price is currently bouncing from the 0.7675 resistance level, we assume that we are currently seeing a run toward the yellow bullish line that unites the last three bottoms on the chart. At the same time, we have a strong reversal candle pattern which came after the last bullish impulse on the chart. This is the dodgy reversal candle pattern. You see the dodgy pattern in the ellipse on the chart. As you see, after the price action interacts with the 0 0.7675 level, it closes a dodgy candle after a bullish trend, which suggests that the price action is probably reversing. For this reason, we intend to follow the potential bearish move on the chart. Therefore, we are now going to open a short trade selling 0.5 lots. We just sold the market. And now we are short on the Australian dollar, American dollar. At the same time, we're going to use the 0.7675 resistance level to position our take profit order on the chart. After all, if the price action breaks that resistance level, the chance that it will continue with the increase is very small. So now let's put the stop loss order at 0 We had to position the stop loss order a little bit higher due to the spread uh, requirements of the broker we're trading with. Therefore, when the price action uh, moves in bearish direction, we will use this situation to adjust our stop loss order lower and lower and to contain as more as possible from the price action. At the same time, our take profit order should be located somewhere near the yellow bullish line on the chart. That could be somewhere near 0 0.7660. Uh, I meant 0 0.7666, I apologize. Okay. Now we have our short order, our stop loss order, and our take profit order. Our trade is secured, which means that we need to wait and to see if the price action is really going to accomplish the target we just set on the chart.
In the meantime, let's mark the levels we used as our entry point, stop loss order and take profit order. We entered at 0 0.7673, placing a stop loss order at 0 And the take profit order near 0 0.7666. On the 15 minute chart, we see our dodgy candle again. As you see, as a result of the price interaction with the 0 0.7675 resistance level and the dodgy candle, the price reverses closing two bearish candles, which is another indication that the price is currently reversing. But let's approach the five minute chart now. On the five minute chart, we are seeing an attempt for a bearish trend, which appeared to be unsuccessful. Therefore, it's very, it's, uh, it's very likely to see the Australian dollar, American dollar interacting again with the resistance level at 0 0.7675 before undertaking any further bearish runs on the chart. Let's try the one minute chart. Let's zoom it out a bit. This circle represents the candles that are united to build our 15 minute dodge candle over here. What else is the chart saying? We have a better picture of the bearish trend attempt. Let's mark this with purple. Magenta. As you see, trend got broken over here, which implies that maybe another interaction with the 0 0.7675 level will appear on the chart. However, we saw the creation of a bearish engulfing can, uh, I mean bearish harami candle pattern, I apologize. And as a result of this, the price action gapped in bearish direction. But after all, since a trend is broken, a bearish trend is broken, there is a big chance that the price action tests it as a support, uh, turns it from a resistance, like here, here, and here, into a support, like in this case, and then sets the price action upwards. So let's wait for the price action to develop and let's come back later to see if this trade is really going to be a successful one. Okay, we're back 10 minutes later to see that the price action of the Australian dollar, American dollar uh, has decreased drastically, approaching our take profit order near 0 0.7666 and we decided to come back in order to see the moment when the price action interacts with our take profit order if it does actually let's see how the decrease looks at the 5 minute chart we have a first bearish candle, second bearish candle and the current third five minute period, which is which is bearish for now. On the one minute chart, we see seven bearish candles in a row, followed by a bullish correction, a candle which resembles a shooting star, followed by a a new bearish impulse and we are currently seeing that the price action attempts to increase however having in mind the 
the current bearish altitude of the Australian dollar and the American dollar and the bounce from the 0 0.7675 resistance, we assume that the Australian dollar, American dollar will actually try to intersect with the yellow bullish line on the chart. Switching back to the 15 minute chart. Okay, let's pause the video for a few more minutes and come back to you to see if the price action is really going to reach our target at 0 0.7666. Okay, we're back five more minutes later to see that the price action got even closer to our take profit order and nearly hit it on like 0 0.2 pips distance from our take profit level, which stays at 0 0.7666. As a result, we see that the, the price of the Aussie which is the Australian dollar, American dollar, bounces in bullish direction. But uh, this is likely to be a short event since the price action has formed something like a falling wedge chart pattern, which it is currently completing. And we believe that Probably in few one minute periods, we will see a new decrease after the purple falling wedge you see on the chart gets completed. Meaning that the price action passes a bullish distance equal to the size of the rising wedge. This is the size of the wedge. We see that the bullish distance is completed. So the pattern is finished. And maybe it is time to see a new bearish run on the chart toward our take profit order at 0 0.7666. Switching back to the 15 minutes chart. Okay, let's do another pause and come back in five, in five minutes to see how is the price action developing. And 20 minutes later, we're back again to see that the price action does uh, creates another is currently creating another attempt uh, for a bearish impulse toward the yellow bullish line, and it is currently close to only one pip away from our target at 0 0.7666. We came back to remind you that now we can adjust our stop loss order higher since the price action moved downward. And this way we will uh, <clears throat> we will contain the price action in a better way. Also, we would like to uh, to say something about uh, a thing uh, that one of our um, uh, group members at Forex Bolt said about adjusting the stop loss order below the entry target. Uh, the entry point on the chart. This is a very, very smart and successful strategy. However, if you're a scalp trader, in most of the cases, it's not working. As you see, we attempt to move our stop loss order under our entry point in order to lock in guaranteed profit and to break even instantly. However, this is not working since uh, we have uh, spread requirements from the broker we are using. Therefore, sometimes uh, this approach uh, is not something that could be implemented since you're physically unable to move your stop loss order below your entry point, locking in guaranteed profit. Nevertheless, our stop loss order is now uh, in the area where we wanted it 
initially, which is uh, the 0 0.7676 level, which makes that, uh, which means that if the trade is unsuccessful, we'll be losing something like only three pips, which is not that bad. Three pips equals something like. 0.05% loss from the amount we we invested in this trade we see that the price action keep hesitating near our take profit order uh, which means that We'll have to make another pause in order to, to short the time we're using for this video since it's gonna become very long. The good thing is that the price action is forming a bearish trend, which is another confirmation that a bearish impulse toward our take profit order is likely to occur. Therefore, we'll pause the video again we'll get back to you after a few minutes okay guys we're back five minutes later to see that the price action has bounced from the purple bearish trend line we set on the chart <coughs> as a result a bearish impulse relatively sharp by the way uh, was um, created on the chart right over here and the price action actually hit our 0 0.7666 take profit order, closing our trade on profit. And from this trade, we, <coughs> we generated a profit of 7 pips, which uh, equals approximately to 0.1%. And at the same time, the trade took us like uh, like an hour and a half, which is a relatively short period of time. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBoat.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.